Hey folks, this is Metroliner XLC coming at y'all with a very important issue. A real serious issue. Because it has to deal with the crime and the health problems and it definitely has to deal with a lot of about this home foreclosure business. And I think it really needs to be addressed because even though we might, you know, see this, see this, what I'm about to talk, talk about, and we just blow it off. I see it as an opportunity for everybody to be able to get back on their feet, and I think it needs to be taken a look, take a look, having have a look at, and and I think that if the president's watching, I think you definitely need to watch this, and you need to listen to the goddamn solution I'm proposed to you because it might be a good one. You know, it might make you a very popular president. You might be seeing your second term if you listen to me. So here it is. Alright. This. Y'all seen houses like this all over y'all's town, city, whatever? All these blighted houses? That nobody's been doing shit with for many years? And it's gotten to the point where you got all types of flowers and grass growing up. Got all types of people running in and out of these type of houses. Furniture thrown all over the place. And of course we gonna sit there, we take a look at the house and we blow it off because of the fact that you know it doesn't really affect us right then and there. That it, uh, it, it's not an issue we should concern ourselves with until we see drug dealers and prostitutes running out of those houses and committing all types of crimes in those houses. And we definitely get concerned with it when it involves our kids. So, instead of us, we of just complaining about it and talking about, oh, the city needs to come fix this. You need to come fix this. How about you go ahead and come up with, uh, go ahead and follow this solution. And this is for anybody. But I'm going to point out two specific groups of people because they could really use the work. And I think if, if, if the president were to take up this option, I think a lot of things will be going better right now instead of getting much, much worse. Alright, here's my solution. We take houses like the one you just saw give them to homeless people or or people who've just been released from jail, ex-cons who are willing to go ahead and do the work to fix up the houses and bring them up to whatever city, town, ordinances and codes, whatever you know and, and, and we basically give them away to those who are willing to work for the house who are willing to cut the grass, you know, clean that, get the furniture and brush situation straight, fix up the house to where it looks respectable, instead of, you know, allowing them to deteriorate and look like trash, and given the whole issue, right, the, 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 the whole issue of the house for, houses being foreclosed on, people getting evicted out of their homes nowadays, I think that would be a very good solution. Instead of allowing these little greedy ass banks to be to continue to hold on to houses and not maintain them, and these property owners that don't take the time to maintain their properties, we could have the the local governments use eminent domain to go after after property owners and banks that don't maintain their properties, and. When uh, and if they don't go, like city will go ahead. For example, city of Richmond will go after a bank or a property owner that ain't paid their property taxes and they keep up the property. And once they do, once they do that, and as and they still refuse, the property owners still refuse to do anything about the property. Go ahead, and the city of Richmond would use eminent domain to claim properties like this. And go and, and and then go ahead and 
and the city will give away a property. This doesn't happen, but I'm just saying this as an example of how it would work. Just let the people who are willing to work for these properties, that are willing to change these properties, you know, maintain them in a decent way. Keep the grass cut. You know, put in new windows, stuff like that. Give them the chance to go ahead and and do the work. And in exchange, they all they have to do is live in that house for at least five years under the Homestead Act of 1867. And after that, they can go ahead and and claim that property as their property because they would have done the work for it. They would have maintained it and kept it up to par for the specified amount of time and satisfied all requirements and therefore the person should have a right to go ahead and claim that land. Now like I said, this is a very good opportunity for the homeless and for the ex-cons because they could really use the work and they could really use the place to live because a lot of them don't have no, nowhere to go. A lot of these folks have nowhere to go. They have no per they have nobody to let them stay with them. They have no with no house of their own. They've probably been kicked out of it. So they they have to make do with what they can. With whatever shelter space is available. But I guarantee you this, if you allow them to go ahead and work on houses like that. And they give, and they get a chance to go ahead and own that house after they finish it, and they satisfy the homestead act requirements. Everybody will be on it. They will all be on it because, because they they get a chance to work for some, and they get a chance to have some of their own. Then on top of that, they're able to do some legitimate, honest work, instead of having to turn a crime. And stuff like stuff like this is why people are turn people are turning to crime nowadays, because of the fact that they be they're being kicked out, they're being kicked out of their house. So basically, they have to commit crimes like trespassing just to live somewhere, because there are no shelters available, because all the shelter space is gone. There ain't no shortage of nurses for for no reason. They don't need a whole bunch of nurses for no reason. Cause it'd be everybody's going crazy. And I'm thinking that while everybody's going crazy because they don't lost their house, they could also be seeing a, a, a better way to go after houses like these and make them better so that they they become places where people can go ahead and live and work. And raise families. Now this this solution ain't the most perfect solution. Of course, there has to be de more details worked out, and you know, there could also be things taken out of it and things put into it too. But for now, that will, this will be the perfect. I'll say this will be the best solution to handle this type of issue urban blight people it's a serious problem everybody needs to take a look at this problem instead of ignoring it the more we ignore it the more we're driving ourselves out of a out of a future and that's all I have to say people you got something to say post a comment or post a video response if you disagree or agree with me. I th and to those who I sent the video out to. Really take a look at this. And if you if you really think that this is something worth. You know speaking about. Please vote, post a video response. Because I would really welcome that very much. Alright. This is Metro Liner XLZ. And I am. Gone.